Alrighty, I have a construction update for Yukon Striker in Orbiter for you today. I was going to release this video tomorrow, but the other footage I was working on was taking way too long to edit, and I gotta go somewhere, so I decided to um, edit this footage, which is easier to edit, um, and upload it for your enjoyment. I know a lot of people have been wondering. Our DMs are so full of people being like, when's your next Canada's Wonderland update? When's your next Yukon update? Um, it is here. So as you can see, they are moving really quick, removing Orbiter off the site. Uh, they dug up the concrete. Um, the queue line is still there, but the state, the, um, not the station, it doesn't have a station, but the foundation's been torn up, the fence around it's been removed, and the control booth and exit booth are completely gone. Um, so that's interesting. They're very quick at removing this from the premise. I guess they want no sign of it come 2019 season starting. Um, maybe it'll turn into a pathway that connects Behemoth to Frontier Canada for the, uh, temporary, uh, portion of the season until maybe, you know, a year or two, three years from now, they find a replacement flat ride or anything that's going to fill its land. Anyways, in terms of Yukon Striker, they're working on weekends now. This is rare. We don't see this often at Yukon Striker, but the construction team is working on weekends, um, building that station, getting electrical hooked up. And I'm going to be honest, it looks like there's a nice LED package going up the lift hill now. It is very difficult to tell from this far away, but there is a nice white glow that wasn't there before that goes up the entire lift hill of Yukon Strikers. It's attached to the guardrails of the staircase. Um, so again, it could be a light reflection. It could be anything, but it's looking like it's an LED package. If I had to make a guess, all the B&Ms in the park have one, so it would only make sense. And we know electrical's been hooked up to the lift hill now. The elevator's been in use. Wonderland's shown some footage of that. Um, but yeah, very exciting. So here in this photo is the queue line. So that giant flat portion where you see that red car parked and that green arrow pointing, that's going to be a portion of the queue line, as you can see. So it's a little different from the animation. Um, and also from our previous video, the building is different from the animation in terms of uh, the way it's built. Um, it goes past the transfer track. So that's a little different from the animation because the station building was just the station. And you can see the transfer track didn't have any building beside it. Whereas in reality, it has building beside it now. So they're working on actually enclosing the station now, as you can see in this footage. It looks like they're about to pour concrete on the station platform. It looks like they're also getting ready to start going vertical with the second floor walls. There probably isn't going to be an actual second story to the station, but just for looks, it's going to be that. Other than that, nothing much else going on. There are still uh, three trains in the parking lot. Nothing moved there. We're keeping an eye on that. Orbiter sitting in the parking lot as well. Um, and no signs of anything else. Just their working weekends, the station's moving along nicely, and Orbiter's being completely demolished. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this construction update on Yukon Striker. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.